हॅलो एव्हरी वन ॲज पर द गाईडलाईन्स ऑफ फार्मसी काउन्सिल ऑफ इंडिया डॉक्टर बाबासाहेब आंबेडकर टेक्नॉलॉजिकल युनिव्हर्सिटी फॉलोज द क्रेडिट बेस्ड सेमिस्टर सिस्टीम फॉर द कोर्स ऑफ बी फार्मसी सो इन माय अर्लियर व्हिडिओज वी हॅव सीन वॉट आर द क्रेडिट पॉईंट्स अँड ग्रेड पॉईंट्स अँड हाऊ दे आर कॅल्क्युलेटेड ऑल्सो इन माय लास्ट व्हिडिओ वी हॅव सीन हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट एस जी पी ए फॉर सेमिस्टर रिझल्ट लिंक फॉर बोथ द व्हिडिओज इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कॅन चेक इट नाव आय एम गोईंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू हाऊ टू कॅल्क्युलेट सी जी पी ए दॅट इज क्युमिलेटिव्ह ग्रेड पॉईंट ॲव्हरेज सो हिअर द इन जनरल फॉर्म्युला इज गिवन ॲज पर दिस फॉर्म्युला सी वन सी टू सी थ्री अप टू सी एट आर द टोटल क्रेडिट्स ऑफ सेमिस्टर वन टू थ्री अप टू एट सेमिस्टर रिस्पेक्टिवली and s1 s2 s3 up to s8 are the sgpa grade points of semester 1 2 3 up to semester 8 so in this way the total credit points of each semester and sgpa grade points of each semester are used to calculate cgpa grade points let's start with the calculation of cgpa here the result of semester 1 is given For this semester 1, the credits are 29. Grade points obtained by the students are 224. So, the SGPA grade is calculated 7.72. So, this calculation of SGPA we have already discussed in my last video. The link is given in the description box. You can check it. Let's move towards the calculation of CGPA. So, the formula for the calculation of CGPA of this semester 1 is given as CGPA is equal to C1 into S1 divided by C1. So, the place the values of C1 and S1 that is credits of year semester 1 and SGPA of semester 1. So, 29 is placed over here since it is a credit total credits of year semester 1 and SGPA of semester 1 is 7.72 divided by C1 that is 29. So, by calculation of these values you will get the answer of CGPA that is 7.72. 72 which is the cgp of year semester 1 so this cgp and sgp is same because the credit points and sgp are same and it is of only semester 1 result so as the name indicates cgp is the cumulative grade point average so when we are going to calculate the cgp of year semester 2 you will get the cumulative grade point average of year first year course so let's start with the calculation of year cgpa for semester 2 so here the formula is derived as c1 multiplied by s1 plus c2 into s2 divided by c1 plus c2 so c1 and c2 are the credit points of semester 1 and semester 2 respectively s1 and s2 are the cgpa grade points of year semester 1 and semester 2 respectively so let's place the values over here C1 into S1 that is 29 multiplied by 7.722. C2 is again 29 that is credit points of year semester 2. And SGP of year semester 2 are 8.41 divided by C1 plus C2 that is 29 plus 29. So when you are calculating this result you will receive the answer that is 223.88 plus 243.89 divided by 58. So by addition of these two. figures you will receive the answer 467.77 divided by 58 so this 467.77 since it is a integral value you can round up it in the three digits that is 468 divided by 58 since the point value is more than 0.5 so it is round up and it becomes 468 divided by 58 So 58 are the total credits of your cumulative result and 468 are the grade points that is total grade points of your result. So when you are dividing this grade point with your total credits you will receive the answer 8.068 and the value is round up over here because 0.068 so 8 digit is higher than 5 so 6 is converted into the 7 so you will after round up you will receive the 
figure that is 8.07 which is your CGP of your semester 2. So in this way for each and every semester the CGPA is calculated. In this CGPA total credit points are considered and also the grade points are considered for the calculation of this CGP. And hence depending upon the value of cumulative grade point average achieved by the student the class is decided. So here you can see the declaration of result. If the CGPA grade points are 7.5 and above then the student is receive the class that is first class with distinction. If the CGPA grade points are in between 6 to 7.49 then it is a first class and if the grade points are 5 to 5.99 then it will be considered as a second class of the result. I hope you have understood how to calculate CGPA. Keep watching this channel for this kind of informations regarding your examinations and results. If you have still not subscribed to my channel then subscribe it so you will get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much.